This is Eugene Andrukovich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a MSI A6200 laptop with a broken screen that we're going to repair. Okay, uh, MSI is not as well-known brand as others, but I'm starting to see them show up in Office Max, Office Depot, and other places, so I figure it's getting more popular, so we have to learn how to replace the screen on this laptop. Now, typically, in order to replace a cracked screen, you have to remove the plastic frame around the laptop and then remove the screen itself. For the removing the plastic frame, there is um, there's eight mounting screws on this laptop that we have to remove to remove the plastic frame. And in order to get to the screws, we have to remove the rubber feet. Now, compared to other laptops, this one has a lot more screws on top than others. Usually, typically, it's four or two or even none for some laptops, but this one has eight. So let's get to the eight screws. Okay, so first we have to remove the rubber mounting feet, the rubber feet, pads, covers, whatever you want to call them, from where the screws are hiding behind. So let's do it carefully so that the adhesive stays on the rubber pads. Oh, actually I was wrong. The middle the middle pads don't have screws behind them, so we're going to leave those alone. So we're just going to remove the ones that have screws behind them. And let's see if these have screws behind them. Or they're just there to, for shock absorption. Now I've got to be careful not to destroy the rubber pad wire in the process. Okay, it looks like there's no screw behind this one either, so we're going to put it back on. So I take it back. There's only four screws we have to remove. Okay, so we remove this one. And let's remove this one. So we have four screws exposed. And let's get to them. Okay, one. Okay, and two. Let's zoom in a little bit. Three. I should go over the tools that we're using. And four. Almost there. Okay, let's use our tweezers. Turn them. Okay, now that I've used all the tools, you know what they're used for, so let's go over what we need. We need an exacto knife. Uh, so you saw the use of removing the rubber feet. A pair of sharp metal tweezers to remove stuck screws. And a small electronics screwdriver with a pH 1 bit and a smaller pH 0 bit. All right, next what we want to do is remove the plastic frame around the screen. What I like to do for this is use my fingertips, go on the screen side, and gently lift up the plastic frame. If I hear some snapping sounds, that's a good sign. Because the plastic frame is snapping off from the screen assembly. So gently work your way around the whole screen. Try not to damage the plastic frame. And take your time on this. This is probably the hardest part of the job. I'm doing it quicker because I'm used to doing this. But take your time. If something doesn't give right away, go somewhere else and find some other place where it gives. Okay, so we remove the plastic frame. 
and we're going to put that to the side. And let's take a look at the screen in some way. Okay, now with this one, I don't know if you can see in the picture, but whenever it was broken, it was spent quite a bit, so we're going to have to deal with that. But in order to remove the screen from the metal mounting brackets on each side, we have to remove the screws on each side and make sure we can get to them. Now this one, it's pretty easy to get to the screws. Other laptops, it's not as easy. So what we do is start removing the screws one by one and keep different sets of screws in different piles. It'll help you keep track later on. So we remove four screws from each side. Okay, almost there. Okay, we remove four from this side. And we go on to the other side. One. Two. Three. And Okay, this one it's a little bit harder to get to because there's a piece of plastic in the way. So what I'm going to do is remove this top screw that's holding the metal mounting bracket so I can tilt the screen forward a little bit. And likewise, I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. This one's a little bit harder, but that's okay. We got it. And I'm going to tilt the screen assembly screen a little bit forward from the assembly so I can get to this screw. Okay, and it's out. Now, what we want to do is gently tilt the screen forward, make sure nothing's getting in the way. And lay it down. Okay, so there's a couple of things that we need to see. Uh, right away we see that there's a foam, some foam shock absorbing material, cushioning material on the back of the screen. And when we put on a new screen, we want to transfer it so that it has looks the same and used to have the shock absorbing material on the back of the new screen. So, this is a bit unusual for a laptop, but we do what we have to. So, what I want to do is make sure that this stuff comes off with the adhesive. When I lifted up the foam, it didn't come off with the adhesive, so we have another use for our X-Acto knife to see if we can salvage the adhesive. I'm not sure if we can do it or not, but we're going to try. Okay, so now we're pulling off the foam and the adhesive. So that's good. So we keep going with this. Very gently, try not to rip the foam material because it will be harder to put on a new screen then. Keep going. Now we see the connector is exposed. That's good. And we mark the location where the holes are. So we put it back in the right place. And we see that the cable is under the foam mounting foam cushioning material, whatever it's called. I'm making up names for this stuff as we go along. Okay, keep going. There's some tape. We leave the tape on. And 
almost done. Okay, so we remove the cushioning material. And now we have a connector that we have to remove and some tape. So we remove the yellow tape one. And we remove the yellow tape from here. Okay. And under the yellow tape, there's another piece of tape that's holding down the connector. So we loosen that up. And lift this tape up. Like so. Okay, once this tape is lifted up, we can release the connector. The way we do that is we just gently pull it back, like so. And now the screen is out. Let's take a look at this screen. It's a standard 15.6 inch LED screen. As of early 2011, this is the most common screen that's found on laptops, so you should not have any trouble finding this screen. And let's take a look at the part number. Okay, the number you need to know is LTN156AT09. That's the only number you need to know. You do your search on Google or on eBay for that part number, and you should have lots of results come up. And most likely you'll get a compatible screen that has the connector in the same place. And it'll look pretty much like this one, but it might have a different part number, but it'll work. The other thing to keep track of, it's a glossy screen, so most screens are glossy. So that's that. And let's look at one more thing here. On this one, the screen was bent so much, you can see that the bracket is bent a little bit. So what I like to do is gently force it back into shape. Try not to bend it out of shape more, like so. so that way, the magnet caught. Okay, so that way it's back into shape. And what I, the reason I do this is I don't want to damage the new screen with a bent mounting bracket. I've done that twice before and it costs money each time you make that mistake. So let's bend it back into shape some more. And it's there. Another trick if it's still bent too far out of shape, for this one, I probably won't put this screw back in because it won't quite fit and it'll stress the screen. So I'll just probably put the three screws back in. So that's another trick. All right, and uh, that's it. So to put the screen back in, you reverse the procedure, put the foam mounting tape in, and the connector, and the screws, and you're good to go. And the laptop should be as good as new. Okay, thank you very much. My name is Eugene Panrutkovich. The name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com, and I'm the laptop screen doc. All right, thank you, and good luck.